very recently Flatzoid FE attempted a debunk of Mage. Unfortunately, he debunked the wrong video. He debunked the full flight wide cam version. And what's more, he didn't even tackle it, but he waffled on about relative density, disequilibrium and entropy. Go figure. Anyway, straight away, he did another video and that's what we're gonna look at today. I can't believe that he wants to tackle me and Mage and my subscribers and my members and my wonderful patrons again. I want to give massive thanks to each and every one of my supporting patrons. Thank you. Well, I hope that Flatsoid's gonna bring a little more to the table than he did previously. Otherwise he could have the honor of being the first to be on the Mage Rage list twice. Let's see. Go ahead, Flatsoid. Roll VT. Flatsoid doesn't start speaking until a little way into the video, so I'm just going to mute out the music. Let's carry on. I'm looking forward to seeing what he does in attempt number two. So Mr. Sensible didn't like my video much. Well, you put this video out within 24 hours of the previous one, so I didn't have much chance to respond. I did respond in your comment saying, you've done the wrong video. So from that point of view, no. I didn't like your video much. Hasn't addressed anything on my video because it was within 24 hours, I have a life. Instead, this is what he says. Okay, my comments. Flatzoid FE then tackle the experiment video then. The minimal distortion in the non-distorting narrow lens supports and shows the curve. Do a debunk video on that. I am more than open to it, I encourage it. My double speak comment, okay. distortion supports the curve. You didn't watch the video. Yes, it's a narrow lens camera. It's a non-distorting lens, but even a non-distorting lens will have some distortion. I was honest enough to show that distortion. And yes, that distortion, as you would know if you actually watched my video, helped prove that the curve that was apparent was real. We'll come back to that. It would have been a good idea if you actually watched and understood the video before you tried to debunk it, wouldn't it? How can an optical observation with distortion support anything? If only you'd watched. Is your horizon physical? Look, the horizon is not a physical place. You can't walk over to the horizon and stick a flag in it. All the horizon is, is a point, an apparent point beyond which you can't see. It's as simple as that. If you move forward, the horizon moves forward. Move back, the horizon moves back. Move higher, the horizon moves further away. Move lower, it moves closer towards you. It's not a difficult concept. So let's see what you got then. Already your data is debunked. I would beg to differ. No matter, let me teach you something about distortion. If only you'd watch what I said about distortion in the video. Yes, the main mage camera is a 90 degree camera, the Firefly 8SE, yes. And this is the 8S, different camera, same lens. I checked it out, that is correct. And see the curve. No, no Flatswood, don't say it. Just do not say it. Ow! I can't believe you. You are a total, total, the, the word hasn't been invented for what you are, but you are one and a total one at that. Of course lenses are curved. That's how they work. That doesn't mean your image is going to be absolutely useless. Uh, distortion is known about and understood. You have uh, a fisheye lens, you've got massive distortion. A wide angle lens, you've got less distortion. Narrow angle, less still. Down to rectilinear lenses, and I believe even they may suffer a slight amount of distortion. However, the manufacturers of these cameras and lenses provide software so that you can understore any distortion that those lenses introduce into an image. So what? Otherwise, well, what you're saying is you have to rule out any photograph of anything ever. Now, this is where um, 
Flatsoid decides to talk a bit. I think you need to listen for a few seconds. Right here this afternoon, and I decided to do a quick video on uh, a camera's field of view. It's Alvin and the bloody chipmunks. Well, <laughs> have you been uh, breathing helium? Now, my one camera, Sony CX110. Um, right, we don't need to listen to this. We know that the camera is a narrow angle lensed camera. We know that there is some slight distortion. Hell, I even show it. However, the distortion, as I said earlier, actually helps prove that what we see is a real curve. If only you had watched the bloody video. So let's skip on and see what else you got to say. Little, little pop-up chart More here. Alvin. Which? Alvin. I can set my camera. Alvin. Side. Alvin. All right. Oh. Alvin. I took the wide angle lens off He's still waffling on here. about lenses. Yes, lenses. Basically, they have lenses. to have a, a Come on. lens has to correct. So, a 90 degree lens. So we get to eight minutes in a nine minute, 22 second video, and you still yet haven't actually shown any of Mage. You spent about, oh, let's see, seven minutes just talking about lenses and distortion, which I am not denying, which I openly talked about in my video. So what I'm gonna do is let you finish the rest of this video and then I'm going to show you why you're a total knob socket. Come in here crying to I'm going to mute the sound now because of that music. Let's just take still shots to show how it changes his shape. Okay, well you've actually got the mage cam. Funnily enough, you've got one with a horizon that's going diagonally from distorted to non-distorted to distorted. Now two images in the lower area, which will be slight distortion and another that's just below, so a little distortion. What else have you got? Diagonally across, much cherry picking. Diagonally across, mostly in a distorted area. Diagonally across. Diagonally across, well, almost vertical. Could you not take an image across the central non-distorted area Diagonally across. Talk about dishonest. Diagonally across and almost totally in the distorted area. Diagonally across. So will I address the non... Look, never mind will I address. You have not addressed mage. I will show you why in a minute. But briefly, these points. Will I address the non-rotation of Earth as demonstrated? You have not actually demonstrated anything. But from your other vehicle uh, video, we already know that you don't understand conservation of momentum. You're, you're, you're a couple leaves short of a salad, mate. The lack of physical curve. I have shown physical curve. You have not demonstrated anything. The fact we have gas pressure with containment as demonstrated. Yes, the gas in the balloon is at pressure. Outside the balloon is atmospheric pressure. The fact that we have gas, oh, the same one. And finally, why relative density? Oh, nuts to your relative density. There's no such thing as relative density. None at all. So what I'm gonna do is take snapshots of the made shots from your video, and we'll see what we've got. Well, that's a good image, not. That's obviously taken after the balloon burst with mage flying around. You've got zero details of the earth and a blurry horizon with the horizon stretching diagonally from high area of distortion to high. Due to varying barrel distortion, it does look fairly flat, but it's not concave. Another diagonal image across varying areas of distortion, but again, it doesn't look concave. Diagonal again. Still no concavity. Diagonal once more. Oh, I think I can see a slight curve there. Well, that image is a little better, but it's in the bottom third, so it should be bowed downwards, but it's not. Same again, although I think I can see a slight positive curve above that black line. Definite curve above that line I've drawn. And you can see the horizon is curving the opposite direction from the black reference line string. Another poor picture. 
But you can see definite curve. Not doing too well so far, are you, Flatsoid? Yep, and again, you are terrible at taking screen caps. Oh dear, amazing amount of curve, but of course you're stretched across varying levels of distortion, and because the image is an upside down image, that helps accentuate the curve. Poor picture, it will accentuate the curve, and I can definitely see a little there. And look, all your images are stretching into areas of distortion. Surely what you want to show your straight, flat, level earth is an image with the horizon in the non-distorted area. And what's more, half these images, like this one, you've picked the fuzzy images where it's as hard as anything to try and get any sort of line drawn fairly. The really interesting thing with these, I think it's 12 images, uh, you screen capture flatsoid, is that not one single one of them shows a concave horizon. If that horizon is really flat, then half the time is going to look concave and half convex with distortion. But no, you're a total idiot. You really are. Flatsoid, you purveyor of the finest horse manure. I'm now going to show you, with the aid of this diagram of barrel distortion and this ruler, why you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Now look at that diagram. At the top, the distortion forces straight lines into an arch. Towards the bottom, it forces them into a bowl shape. Convex and concave, easy. So if you um, were filming a straight, straight line across the center, as you can see on the diagram, there'll be no distortion. That straight line will look straight. If that straight line is towards the top of field of view, it would look arched because of the barrel distortion. If you had that straight line near the bottom of the field of view, it would be concave. Do you understand that? So let's do that again with a curved earth. So if it's across the middle where there's no distortion, you're going to see a curve. If it's high up, you're, it's going to distort it into a greater curve. And if that curve is low down, it's going to tend to flatten it. Now, the one thing you won't see if you had a flat earth low down is an arch because that flat would be distorted, if anything, downwards. What did we see on Mage? Well, here's an image from Mage. As you would know if you had actually watched and understood the video, we have two reference line strings. In actuality, those strings are dead straight. They are spring loaded taut lines. However, and as I said in the video, you can see a slight distortion in them. The yellow one has the very slightest bulge upward and the black one a slight more, slightly more bulge downwards. This is because of the barrel distortion. It was acknowledged in the video. However, the closer you get to the center, the less distortion there is. Look at that horizon pretty much across the middle. We've got a curve. So what you need to do first, Flatsoid, is explain to me. If you have a flat earth with a straight edge horizon, why is it apparently more distorted into a greater curve than that straight yellow string, which is higher up and therefore in an area of higher distortion? Hmm. And here is a second image with a horizon lower down. You can see the black string has that slight dip because of distortion. So your flat earth, which is lower still, would have even more of a dip, but it hasn't. It's still got a slight upward curve. That can't happen if you have a straight line that's lower down in the field of view. That's why the distortion in this camera, as shown by the black string, actually helps prove that the curve seen is real. You have just failed big time. Do you get it now? Run along to your village. They're missing their idiot.
Well, Flatsoid, at least you had the balls to do a video, which is more than I can say of Nathan Oakley. However, you have failed again and earned yourself that second place on the Mage Rage list. Never mind. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed that. Look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, stay sensible. Shut up and sit down.